Hello everyone, this is Steve at WordPress on a Budget, where we show you how to build WordPress sites with any budget. And as you can see, today we're going to go over Elementor Pro 2.0. Uh, the beta was just released, and it's got some awesome features in it. So I'm going to do a brief overview of uh, what this page builder will bring. So we're going to go over blocks, headers and footers, post templates, where you'll be able to actually edit your blog page now, archive pages, dynamic connections, which to me is the one feature that really puts that page builder ahead of everybody else, display rules, and role manager. So let's head on over to our test site on Local by Flywheel and get started. Okay, as you can see, I've already got the Elementor and Elementor Pro beta versions loaded. So I'm going to quickly go over how we got this far. So if you go down to the Elementor tab and go to Tools, and then once you get there, you want to go to Version Control. And right down here on the Beta Tester, you want to click Enable and then hit Save Changes. When you do that, you want to go to Dashboard and Updates. And when you get there, if everything's up to date, you're probably going to see something blank like this. You want to click Check Again. And when you do that, the two Elementor plugins will show up in the beta versions, and you just install them like you do any other plugin. And now I'm going to head over to Appearance. All right, so let's go over to Appearance and Themes. And there are four themes right now that Elementor 2.0 works with. And that's Generate Press, Astra, Hestia, and Ocean WP, and of course the blank Elementor canvas that comes with Elementor. My suggestion for this would be use Generate Press, the free version. If you can use Elementor to override all the settings anyway, this is a lightweight, very fast theme, very well coded, and should work for anything that you need. Now, with that little business taken care of, let's go down to the Elementor tab, and you'll find My Templates, which is where most of the features will be. And we're going to go down here to Role Manager first, and click on it. Now, if you've got more than one person that can log into and work on your WordPress site, or if you're developing for somebody and going to eventually hand it off, you can use this role manager, editor, author, contributor, subscriber, just like in your basic WordPress. And you can set each individual one to have no access to the editor, which means they can't get into Elementor and change anything, and access to edit content only. And like I said, if you've got more than one person or, or you're going to hand this off or something, this is a great utility to use. Okay, so now let's go down to my templates and get into the meat and potatoes here. Okay, now before we create our first template, I'm going to go up here. I put in a blog post, a little blank fake blog post. And of course, I'm using the Generate Press theme. And it looks something like this right now. Everything's default. I haven't changed anything. So what we're going to do is change that header up front. So we're going to add a new template. We're going to select header. We'll name it main header. And hit create. Then you will see the two header themes that they've got preloaded in their library and they call these blocks and what we're going to do is I'm going to pick the light one and hit insert and as you see it inserted the header onto our page now it might be a little hard to see but there's a little darker gray area right here and that's the your nav menu that they put in so it's pulling off whatever menu you have made on your WordPress setup. So we're going to click here at Metro. 
and we're going to delete that and we're going to add our own image right there now a quick tip as you can see it that Elementor loads up the image that they used if you click on that you can see it's 443 by 98 so that's the size of the image you need to put back and I've already pre-made one. It's not pretty, but it'll work. And we're going to insert that media. And as you can see, it goes ahead and puts it in the menu right where it's supposed to be. Now, for some reason, it's small. We can go to Style. And right here, we're on the size. We're going to crank it all the way up to 100. And then, as you can see, there's the menu that I have already. And we're going to go down here and hit publish. When you do that, here is the another feature, display. So you need to tell it where you want it to display that header you just found. So we're going to add a condition. And you can hit entire site, archives, or a singular page, or choose where you want it to go. For this one, we're going to hit entire site. Now, if you wanted to do the entire site except maybe your blog post you can make a special header you just add a condition you hit exclude you go down here and hit singular and now that header will be on all pages except the singular page that you want it you're gonna make something special for so we're going to delete that for now and then we're going to hit publish and now we're going to exit to the dashboard Now we'll head back to our WordPress site and click refresh. And there you have it, your header you just made along with the menu on the side. Again, it's not pretty, but it's just for demonstration purposes. So now let's go make a single page template. So let's go head back into the dashboard. All right, we're gonna go back to the Elementor, go back to my templates. And this time we're going to edit the singular post or the blog post. This is what our blog post looks like now. And as you can see now, you can do content, sections, widgets, headers, footers, singular, and archive pages. And of course, I'll make videos of all this as soon as the, uh, the version gets released. But right now we're going to go to singular. We're going to add a new single. We'll name this blog page and hit create template. And just like before, under the blocks, you're going to see the two um, page templates they have already in. And of course, there's more templates coming. We're going to insert the light one here. And here it is loaded up. And we're going to click on this section right here that says blog page. And this is where that dynamic connection comes in. You can click right here, the little hamburger looking logo that says dynamic. And you can have that link to your a custom field, a date, post excerpt, post ID, post terms, post time, post title. Uh, there's archive. And it'll go through and dynamically connect to any of this. Author information, site name. Uh, we're going to leave this as post title. Then you can click here. You have a profile picture you can add on. Just the same add-ons that you can usually do. And you can edit whatever you need to edit. Go down here and we'll change this. And then this box here is the feature image. Now this is a little odd to edit because you don't see any information in here to look at. So what we're going to do is go down here to this little eye icon right here. We're going to hit settings. And you want to preview this as a post. And then right here, you want to type in the first two letters of your blog. 
find your blog post right here put it apply and preview and as you can see it brings in that post there is the dynamically generated title there is our featured image all the text down here you can see the comments are on and you know there's a lot of editing you can take this off you can add stuff um, add new section just like you would fix the footer and everything else but right now we're just going to hit publish and again you can display conditions so you want to add a condition I want this on all my posts all my singular posts so all my blog posts will look the same and just hit publish and you only have to do this once so now all the blog posts will have this similar template and we're going to exit out of here to the dashboard now let's go see what our new page looks like we'll click refresh and there you have it all the content everything's there like it's supposed to be your comments everything else alright let's go back to the dashboard and for this time that's about it uh, like I said when the Elementor 2.0 Pro comes out and is the official release I'll do more videos on each individual modular and um, probably do a walkthrough of how to build a website you will be amazed how easy it's going to be with the uh, just throwing in templates and getting everything set up you can probably do a website in less than 30 minutes now if you're interested in getting Elementor Pro I'll have a link in the description below it is an affiliate link so if you could help support this channel that'd be great I'll get a cup of coffee and until next time I'll see you later